Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Hypermind Feed the Beast Infinity Evolve Server. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing really good. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. I'm having a really good day. It's uh, Wednesday? I think so. Is it Wednesday? Hey. Uh, I don't know. It's Wednesday. Let's let's just pretend that it's Wednesday. <laughs> I'm having a fantastic morning. I actually woke up about an hour ago. It's been a pretty good morning. So yeah, last episode, you know, we pranked Dolan. We had a lot of fun with that. I'm glad that you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I don't know if I got him or not. He did comment on the video, but he didn't say if I got him or not. So I'm going to pretend that I did because I had a lot of fun doing it. Ho hopefully I scared him. <laughs> I hopefully... I. I I've been thinking, I've been wanting to do more pranks around the server, but I don't know who I want to prank first. <laughs> we'll have to see about that. So today, I have a couple things planned for today. I want to get some things done with the solar panels. I want to get some things done with uh, maybe even applied energistics. I don't know. We'll have to see about that. But uh, I wanted to say, before we start off with today's episode, I do want to say thank you guys for all your amazing support on the last few videos that we've been doing. I also want to say thank you for the video that I posted yesterday i think it was yesterday i'm pretty sure it was on tuesday that i posted my first vanilla episode in a long time and i want to say thank you guys for all the support on that video considering that uh you know i haven't posted a vanilla video in over a couple of months and i got some great feedback on that video saying that you guys really want to see more vanilla content and i do want to bring more vanilla content to the channel and for those of you who only watch mod and stuff go watch vanilla go watch it <laughs> do it now do it now! But um, we have a lot of fun over the vanilla server. So yeah, if you do guys want to go check out the vanilla the vanilla series, I have a whole playlist for it if you want to go check that out. Of course, it is me learning Minecraft and, well, really learning the whole trade of deals of YouTube and stuff. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. So I'm going to send you guys over. Let's go have some fun over at the base. Alright, so today, before we get started with today, I want to show off what I've been doing. So I got some things done already. Um, so let's head down here. I wanted, okay, before we head down there, I wanted to show you guys something. I needed to get automation for, hold on, let's talk to you guys. I want to see you guys' face. I want to see you. How's it going? <laughs> but I wanted to get more solar panels faster. But here's the problem. Solar panels, especially with the advanced solar panels, cost a lot of, a lot of materials. One of which is glass. So I wanted to get glass automated. So if we go in and look at the system, by the way, I can't remember if I said anything about this beforehand, but I ran another quarry. I ran a bigger quarry. I think it was a, it was like a 250, it's like a 250 by 250 quarry. It was pretty freaking huge. It was really big. And we got a ton of materials out of it, like a ton of stuff. So I wanted to get glass automated. So what I did was if we go down here, I went ahead, I made a new pulverizer. And then I had my cobblestone go into the pulverizer, and this is turning into sand. And what I, so this is going to allow me to do two different things. It's going to allow me to automate sand production, and it's going to allow me to get rid of all this cobblestone, because we have, we have over a million cobblestone that I have to get rid of. Um, unfortunately, since I've been running silk touch quarries, we have over two million regular stone now, so that's a thing. So we're going to have to figure out how to get rid of that stuff. Also, what I was doing was I'm pumping the sand out of my system straight back into another machine down here, another redstone furnace, and this is always pumping out glass, which is something that we need significantly for these solar panels. So if we go back up top, I want to see if we can craft another advanced solar panel. So let's look at solar, and I want to do something with these today. I want to make an area for these guys. Can I make another one? Yes, I can. Sweet. So I wonder, can I make two of them no i can't i need more redstone and i need more electrum i need to get these things automated as well i need to get invar electrum really to be honest i can't automate redstone and lapis i kind of did that manually so what i did let's go ahead and just get one going so i can always have this in the background bam bam so that's going to be going what i did off screen i made myself a new uh, I made myself a new hammer and I called it the bold and I've made it fortune three so that way it's a lot easier to make You know redstone it's a lot easier to fortune my redstone and my lapis now since I'm running a silk touch quarry instead of just a regular quarry I feel like it'd be better in return um, So I don't have to worry about you know losing that fortune value. So today I wanted to I Really wanted to build an area for my solar panels but I don't know exactly where I was wanting to put them. I cleared out this area over here a long time ago. I guess we could put it over there. 
I'm also been thinking about making, trying to make a miscraft world where it's always daytime. That would be really cool to have, but I don't know the logistics behind that. I've never, I've never messed with miscraft before. I want to talk to you guys in the face. How's it going? <laughs> but I've never messed with miscraft before, so I don't know if that's going to be a viable thing or not. So I'm going to have to look into that. So that's what I want to do today. I want to especially get, I want to get an area done for uh, solar panels. I'm going to make a whole bunch more solar panels today. Um, I'm going to try to automate. I really would like to automate Envar and Electrum. I don't feel like that would be very hard to do, especially doing it with uh, applied energistics. I'll probably, I think I have enough room around here to do it. Um, I'm probably just going to run them somewhere around in this general area, maybe even get rid of this because I don't really need these anymore now that I have those down there. So I might just remove these and then turn this into kind of like my Emmy. Oh God, I fell through the floor. I want to turn these into like my Emmy automation. So let me get some stuff together and then I'm going to plan some things out and I'm bringing you guys back in just a second. So I'll see you guys in a little bitty bit. All right, guys, welcome back. So I've been doing a little bit of work. Okay, so I've been doing a little bit of work and now I'm going to try to explain this in the simplest way possible. I'm not going to get into deep, deep detail about how automation works with machines yet. I plan on doing an entire episode of be with it. But let's go ahead and look at it really quickly. It's really simple. What I have done is I have taken an induction smelter, a resident induction smelter, and I've completely maxed it out with all of its augments. I've given it power and I've given it an interface. Now, if you've never messed with automation with machines and applied energistics, this is kind of going to go over your head. But the basis behind it goes in hand in hand with how we did our last automation. It goes in with, you know, our crafting cube and how the crafting cube works. And the basis of the crafting cube was, is that you have these cells that craft items for you that are called on by the interfaces and the interfaces then eject the items that want to be crafted into the, into the molecular assemblers. So basically it's happening just like the crafting cube. I have an interface that is hooked up to a crafting system, which is my induction smelter. Let's just say I have in here. I have Envar and I have Electrum. So whenever my system needs Envar or Electrum, as long as this interface is hooked up to my system, which is then recognized through my entire array of interfaces, it'll recognize that as a crafting solution for what it needs. So what it's going to do is it's going to spit its items out. Let's just say because since I have these set to um, Envar being two iron and one ferrous equals three Envar, it's going to expect you to spit out two iron with uh, two fair, well, two iron and one ferrous, and then it's going to withdraw that invar back into the system. Luckily for me, I didn't set these right, but um, this is where it kind of gets kind of complicated, and I I don't know how that worked. Hold on, it's pulling in and out on the same side. Oh wait a minute, it was working, wasn't it? Oh, I haven't tried it yet. Eee, we're gonna see if that works. I know it works with um, it works with Ender IO, but I do not know if it's gonna work with um, thermal expansion. It never was. And here's the thing with the with the um, with the thermal expansion machines, there's no option to push and pull items out of the same side. Now with um, uh, what's it called with uh, Ender IO, you can do that. So we'll have to see if that works. I'm gonna to have to work with that configs in just a second. Let's let's go ahead and grab. Uh, I was making some. Where's it at? I was making some Enderium because I was out of it. Now let's go ahead and put this back in there and then in there. So let's go ahead and look at our solars really quick. Solar. We were able to make this solar, and we're gonna go try to make another one. Where's he at? Bam, bam. So it's got everything we need. Cool. Let's go ahead and start that up. Now it's going to spit out the items into here. Now is it going to pull them back out? Hmm. I think that it worked. Now I didn't, uh, no, it won't work because I had it where it was inputting on that side. Ah, so there is a chink in the armor, Ted. I have a feeling that it's not going to work. What else is it going to try to craft? You know what? I have an idea. Let's just say I want to make Invar. Let's make me a hundred Invar start now is it going to put it into it's not dang it um i'm gonna have to revise this now the problem with i really 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 wish the thermal dynamics or the thermal foundations or the thermal whatever devs are watching right now 
fix it where you can have things go in and out of the same side. <laughs> it kind of stinks. It really does because I really like the um, thermal expansion machines over the Ender IO machines just because they're faster. Uh, I guess we're just going to go out to go Ender IO. I'm going to fix the system up really quickly and I'll be right back with you guys. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bitty bit. Alright guys, so I fixed it to where now we have Ender IO machine. So I've sm I switched out the induction smelter with an alloy smelter. Again, I prefer the induction smelter because it is slightly faster. Slightly, but it's not not terribly faster as long as, long as you have the autetic capacitor. And the reason, see, now this is where Ender IO sets itself apart from any other mod that I've really messed with with machines, is that it has a complete and utter config option to where you can have both one side push items and pull items at the same time and that's what really sets into IO apart so that really in and of itself makes its machines better than thermal expansion so now if I go into Invar and if I want to craft a hundred of these no I want to go ahead and confirm that craft bam 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 start it's going to push the items into the machine and it's going to pull the items back out of the same side so it's automated. So now if, whenever we need Invar or we ever need Electrum or if we, if, if we set this up with any other metals, it's going to automatically spit, up, spit the recipe out into the machine and then pull it back out to the same side, which is really, really good. So yeah, that's automated now. I, I, pro I promise I plan on going into more detail about this later. Um, we're, I'm planning on doing a lot more with complete automation when it comes to machines and stuff so stay tuned for that guys so that's going to be a lot of fun also i said at the beginning of the video that I, that I didn't know a way to automate redstone yeah i figured it out i made a sag mill so what i am doing is i have another ender chest <laughs> we have another one i'm gonna have to make it I'm, I'm gonna have to put these somewhere these things are ugly i gotta put them somewhere but i got another ender chest all with redstone ore in it and it's being transferred into the sag mill which makes eight redstone with a chance of another redstone so it has a natural output of eight but then it has a secondary output of one so it auto so it sometimes can put out nine redstone per thing i mean that's less than fortuning it but at the same time it's all right i ain't really worried about it um so yeah that's automatically going to be going all the time now luckily for us we have over thirteen thousand redstone ore at least we did when we started okay we still have ten thousand redstone ore so we're going to go through all of that pretty quickly i am not going to do the same thing with lapis and here's the reason why um, I find that redstone is a lot more common than lapis. Lapis is pretty rare, actually. I, I've only gotten, I don't think I've ever had 10,000 lapis at a time when it comes to the ore form. I have a lot of it when it comes to not ore form because I went ahead and fortuned a bunch of it. So I'm going to keep lapis and fortune that myself, but then I'm just going to automate redstone because redstone's a lot easier to come by. So yeah, that's a thing. So let me go ahead. I'm going to make up another solar. I already made, I made, I put this one up here and now we have three advanced solar panels. So this is actually producing more power than my reactor down there, <laughs> which is insane, which is really, really insane and mind blowing in my opinion, because these things are completely free. Like, I, I don't have to do anything. I just set them down. They're, they're working all the time in the daytime. So, yeah, the thing's useless now. <laughs> but I plan on making a cool area for it. I still haven't figured out the design I want to go with. I'm probably going to put it somewhere over here just because I like the area. I'm probably going to flatten this down to where it's, like, a little bit flatter. Maybe I'll bring this part up, and then we'll have it right here. It's going to kind of – it won't resemble – I plan on putting in more white – then I do then I will black probably white like white and blue because I want it to match the not only the solar panels but I want it to look greener you know I want to make it look pure and environmental and stuff like that I don't know so I'm going to I'm going to work on that design off screen guys and also I'm going to probably make up a bunch more solar panels oh I keep forgetting to say this I upgraded my uh, capacitor banks by the way I upgraded to the vibrant ones now it's a 9 by 9 uh vibrant capacitor bank with a uh, 2.200 25 million rf in storage which is a lot higher than 9 million um i already showed you guys this so yeah i've got some work to do and i'm gonna get some stuff going and yeah i'll see you guys in a little bit there's a lot of cups today i'm sorry for all the cuts it's weird i don't know i'll see you guys in a second all right guys welcome back so i've been working a little bit i've been working a little lot actually okay so a little bit of a background story, if you guys haven't noticed yet throughout the video, I've been really quiet and the reason is it's because it's super late. Now the reason I wanted to record super late for you guys is because I knew I wasn't going to be able to do it tomorrow, so I wanted to get a video out tomorrow 
for you guys. So I'm gonna record it during the nighttime, but I'm super tired. And at the same time, I gotta be really quiet because the folks are sleeping. But at the same time, I don't know why, but every time I ever start building, especially at nighttime, I'm always in my tired sleep state. I, for some strange reason, I come up with the coolest ideas. And this is what I came up with so far. I literally, I started out with a cylinder and I've gone from there and somehow it turned into a cup. I don't know. And while I was building it, um, a lot of ideas started coming into my mind about what I want. This is not the final product, by the way. I plan on adding a lot of chisel textures to it. And I just wanted to give you guys an update before I went into the detailed behind it. And the reason I didn't go into any kind of like speedy up bit with this while I was building it, because this was all freehand. Like I had, I, I freehand everything here. Um, so I didn't, it was all off the top of my head. So I, I didn't have any preparation for this. I just started playing down blocks. I was, and I don't know what happened. <laughs> this, this just came. So what my idea now is I plan on having like little pedestal raised above the actual cup part. And then from these four corners, I plan on having water streams down into a lagoon area, like a pool area with a cool fountain thing. I don't know why. I just felt like that'd be really, really cool. Especially I'm going with kind of like a, pure kind of like a uh, nature environmental idea thing going here so I really wanted to be really I really wanted to be bright colors I wanted to be beautiful blues that's what I was really aiming for and I think I'm gonna be able to get it with this and I hope you guys really like the design so far so if you do like it don't forget to hit that like button for me making sure I did my my patterns right I think I need to fix something right here but um i'm gonna get back to work i hope that you guys like it so far please if you if you really do make sure you smash that like button for me so i'm getting back to work to building and i'll bring you guys back in when i get some more progress going so yeah i'll see you guys in a little bitty bit all right guys welcome back so after putting a bunch of chisel textures i decided that i think it looks better without it and here's the reason why is whenever i was putting all the textures out i just felt like it wasn't it wasn't like combining the way that I wanted it to. So I decided to just keep it plain marble. I added some of the blue accents down here and I added a little bit of chisel textures up here and I also filled it with water. Um, I really love how it looks in here. I love these fountains. It may, it really, really does. It makes it really, kind of ties it together in my opinion. I came up with a really cool name and I wanna, hear your, I wanna see if you guys like it. I decided to call it the gauntlet. Now I know gauntlets is kind of like, like uh, um, what are they called? Like gloves or something but I thought uh, I think they also call mugs and like cups things they I think they call those things gauntlets too so I decided to call it the gauntlet and it kind of dawned on me halfway through building this thing and kind of trimming it out and making it look really cool it kind of it dawned on me that I'm doing all of this work for five for like four items look I literally built this entire thing for these things <laughs> <laughs> I think that was pretty funny, but uh, I like it. I really, really do. I really, I think it came out really wonderfully. I want to hear all your suggestions, guys. What do you guys think I should do with this? Do you guys think I should put some more chisel textures in it? Do you guys think I should put, add some more blues? Do you think I should take the color scheme and completely destroy it with TNT? I really personally love it. I love how it looks. I'm glad it came out the way it did. It did. Um, right now, we're crafting up another solar panel. Let's see how close it is to getting done. Um, it's not done yet. Let's go down here and check, take a look at it before we head off today. I had a lot of fun today. I hope that you guys did as well. Hopefully this thing can finish before we get done. I just love how fast this thing is. I know Nimson said he was going to use my design, my design for my crafting cubes. Thumbs up to you, Nimson. Have as much fun with it. And don't forget, if you tinker around with it, let me know. Let me know if you got any, if you have any suggestions to make this thing better. Um, I personally love my, I love my crafting cube design, but I guarantee it's not perfect. It, but it really is really quickly, especially with these acceleration cards. It, it blows through all of it, all of its crafts like super duper quickly. And it, I, I really haven't had any problems with bottlenecking. Um, it crafts. It it just it blow. It just blows through the crafts. I love it. But I have, I guarantee you there's a way to make it even faster than it is right now. But uh, I just can't think of a way to do it other than making more of them or expanding it. So yeah, I hope that you guys did enjoy today's episode, guys. I had a ton of fun today. Oh my god, I'm so glad I was able to build this thing. Oh, it looks so cool. I really, really like it. I'm going to definitely have fun with this thumbnail with this thing. But yeah, I hope that you guys did enjoy. If you did, please do not forget to hit that like button. You know how much I love it. Support the series, support the channel. I haven't said that outro in a while. If you hated this video, 
you know where to put it but if you did enjoy please do not forget to hit that like button for once again i want to say thank you guys for all your amazing support on all my series so far we just started back up vanilla yesterday i hope that you guys enjoyed that if you missed it go check it out we have a lot of fun on the vanilla server too yeah i kind of put the vanilla server kind of aside for a little while but i want to bring it back into the series i want to bring it back into the schedule of things you know it's quote unquote schedule because i don't really have a schedule but yeah i hope that you guys you know i hope you guys enjoyed i know i can't i say that so much i, I need to actually think think of the things before i say them but yeah let's see come on solar are you done i don't want to leave until you're done i don't want to leave are you done yet uh it's not gonna finish but yeah we're gonna have five solars i'm gonna be making more of those off screen so yeah i'll see you guys next time don't forget to post down any questions comments or smart marks down the comments down there i love hearing for you guys i really do i love reading through all my comments and you guys have been showing buttloads of support in the comment section with all of your very nice nice comments so thank you guys for all of that i'll see you guys next time peace out and hope all of you have a great and wonderful rest of your day see you next time guys